Hello all and welcome back to the channel. We are back with some more fantastic beast content. We have been spoiled recently with the amount of media that we have received in the form of traders, international traders, and now we are going to be going through some of the posters that we have received in reference to this film. I'm going to be trying to find some secrets hidden in them, however some of them don't appear to have many secrets but we will take a look at them anyway. And we're also going to be looking at the official film poster that has also been released. And then the final part of this video, which is likely to be slightly shorter, is going to be a couple of scenes that we got from a Chinese TV spot that we haven't yet seen in any trailer. And I will be breaking them down with any easter eggs and secrets that I find. If you are interested in secrets or you said around the new Secrets of Dumbledore film that is coming out, please check out my previous two videos where we have done a breakdown of the Japanese trailer and also the second trailer that we got. I've also done a video previously to that where we broke down the first Secrets of Dumbledore trailer. And if trailer breakdowns are your thing, then please check out my Hogwarts Legacy trailer breakdown. I've gone into lots of detail about all the secrets I've found in there, what potential lessons we might be learning, and some of the potential gameplay that we might be seeing. If that sounds like something you're interested in, I will leave the links to all of those videos down below in the description. And as always, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel if you are interested in anything Harry Potter. With all that out of the way, let's get into the breakdown of these posters. We're going to start off, first of all, with the poster of our main protagonist. If you can call him that, as Dumbledore's name is in the title of this show. But here we look at Newt. And in this poster, he looks to be in the area of Brazil. If you see the forest and the greenery behind him, it looks very much like the scenes we've got with him carrying that horse-like animal in the trailer. It's interesting to see that most of these posters have got some sort of flames around the characters that look similar to that of the Phoenix Flames. And all of the ones carried by magical characters seem to be glowing with magic. You can see Pickett in this poster holding on to Newt's wand. And the next poster we see is the title character himself, and that is Albus Dumbledore. In the background, you can see him in the Hogwarts grounds, looking out over what appears to be the Gryffindor Tower. Again, he is surrounded by the Phoenix Flames, and he has got a glowing wand. It's interesting to see his poster because we get a really good look of his wand before he gets the Elder Wand. And moving on to the villain, the new version of Grindelwald, and that is Mads Mikkelsen. In this poster, he looks to be potentially inside Nurmengard Castle, or it might be one of the alleyways that look to be surrounding the mountain temple that we see in the trailer. Interestingly enough, he is the only character in these posters with a green flash coming out of his wand. And the next character we see in the poster is, of course, Pickett. It's nice to see they're doing some posters for some of the Fantastic Beasts in this trailer. He's got lots of flames to the right-hand side and appears to be somewhere within the German Ministry of Magic. If you do notice in this scene, his wand isn't glowing because he cannot use magic himself. In the same trend with the magical creatures, we then see the adult adorable Niffler and it looks as though he's got a shiny gold galleon which he's stuffing in his little pouch. This photo looks like it might be within the walls of Nurmengard because if you look at the book that the Niffler is sat on it is the Atlas of Celestial Anomalies. Now a poster of this book is actually available to buy and it is credited on the Harry Potter wiki as first being introduced in the last movie and it was seen in Grindelwald's study. Whether this book has anything to do with the movie itself we are yet to see but it is interesting that it's now appeared in two of the movies and the next character we see is jacob he looks to be in front of his bakery and as you can see this is a nice shot of the wand that he gets given by dumbledore i think it's very interesting to see that the tip of that wand is glowing potentially hinting at the fact that he is a magical character Next we see Queenie and in this photo she looks a lot more like her original self. She looks darker and more tormented in the footage we see from the trailer. However in this poster she looks more reminiscent of the character we've seen in the last couple of movies. I believe potentially she is going to be in Nurmagar Castle but I'm not entirely sure on the location that she is in. Next we see Aberforth and he looks brilliant in this photo. 
He's got an interesting short design for his wand, and initially I thought he might be in the Hogshead pub. However, if you look behind him, it looks to be among the rallies for Valencia Santos, as you can see the sign behind him here. We then see Theseus in what looks to be the German Ministry of Magic. Again, his wand is glowing, and he's surrounded by the Phoenix Fire. There's not much more to say about this poster, however, I believe this is going to be the highest likely character to not make it through this movie. And moving on to Credence, it looks as though he is inside the room within Nurmengard where the water scene takes place. He is holding his fresh wand he received from Grindelwald and he has glowing light coming out of it. Notice that the glowing light is the orange colour, much the same as all of the good characters and not green like that of Grindelwald, potentially hinting at the fact that he might change allegiances throughout this movie. And now we see Yusuf. Again, I'm not entirely sure on the location of this poster. However, it looks like it could potentially be in Nurmengard again. Potentially, this could be after he has had his memory modified by Grindelwald and has joined his allegiance. We then see Eulalie and she looks to be in the dining room scene where we first see Jacob in the trailers using his magic. We see from the Japanese trailer that she is also present in this scene. So this could be a pivotal scene for her character in the movie. Next is the new character, Helmut. We do not know much about this character at this time. The background looks as though this is going to be in the area where Eulalie and Theseus fight Grindelwald's followers. So potentially he is going to be part of that battle and it's going to be a most pivotal scene for him. Obviously the main difference in this scene is the fact we don't see him holding a wand, which is very strange as all the other magical characters are seen holding a wand. A slight theory that this has given me is potentially his character is from a magic family and does not have magic himself, similar to that of Argos Filch who is a squib, and potentially he has gone to Grindelwald for help in becoming magical. If my theory is anyway correct, then potentially this could hint at the fact that Jacob isn't magical and he's going to be a very similar character to him. Next, we see Bunty and it's great to finally see her having a predominant role in this movie. She looks to me from the windows to be somewhere within Hogwarts. That is the most places we see her throughout the trailer. I'm really excited to see more of his character and she, in my theory, is potentially one of the people that Tina could be disguised as. Talking about people who Tina could be disguised as, we get a nice shot of Rosia and she seems to be within the halls of Nurmengard Castle and it looks to be the room that the Phoenix appeared to Aurelius in the last trailer and he shot the blast out of the window behind her. As you can see from this light, it is orange again suggesting that she is not using dark magic which to me hints at the fact that Tina could potentially be hiding in plain sight using Polyjuice Potion and disguising herself as her. And then finally we take a look at the full poster. I love this artwork although it is very similar to a lot of movies that are released nowadays. We have the title in the middle surrounded by the silhouette of the phoenix in flames. All of the magical characters can be seen with their wands aglow including Jacob in the background here. On the left of the screen you can see Brazil, on the right you can see Nurmengard and Hogwarts Castle is prominent in the middle. I love the way that the Elder Wand and Dumbledore's Wand share the same glow in this poster. I think it symbolises the fact that they are linked and going to be destined to battle and then could also symbolise the fact that Dumbledore is destined for that wand. And finally, in this breakdown, we're just going to go through the two extra scenes that we get from the Chinese TV spot. Unfortunately, they are very small scenes. The first one that seems to take place within the magical market that we see Eulalie and Theseus fighting. Grindelwald's followers in, in the previous trailers. There is a scene now with Eulalie firing what initially I thought was a bludger. But now, seeing this scene, I believe it looks to be some sort of cauldron. And the second scene we get, again including Eulalie, seems to take place in the dining room where Jacob uses his magic. It would appear as though they take a port key again from this location. It has the same effect that we see from the previous Japanese trailer where they take a port key away from Jacob's cafe. And this seems to be directly after the scene where Jacob uses his magic. It's interesting to see them using another port key or what appears to be another port key as they normally are restricted and they seem to be using a lot of them. It would appear that either the ministry is very much active in this mission, either that or they are creating lots of illegal port keys. So there you have it. That was a short but sweet episode. But we have broken down the new posters that were released for the Fantastic Beast Secrets of Dumbledore movie and we've also gone through and broken down the two extra scenes that we've got from the Chinese TV spot.
Let me know what you think of the posters. I do really like them. Let me know what you think of my breakdown. If I've missed anything or didn't spot anything, please let me know in the comments below. And like I said at the beginning, if you do like this type of thing or anything Harry Potter related, consider subscribing to the channel. That is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. But until then, mischief managed.